Harry Kane has got his mojo back. So after what it seemed to be a little bit of a drought for Harry Kane, the captain of the England and Tottenham Hotspurs team, he scored at the weekend against Brighton. I know it was only a penalty, but regardless to that, I was this close to subbing him out of my fantasy football team. Thank you very much. Now I'm gonna stand up for him because there was articles out that the reason why Harry Kane was having this football drought was because of their new addition to their family. Look, trust me, I don't think he'll be the person that'll be getting up for the 4 a.m. feeds. This weekend, it was all about numbers. Sergio Aguero played his 300th game for Man City. Fred from Manchester United was the 500th player to score a competitive goal. And Troy Deeney has been playing the last two games with three broken toes. It's probably the reason why we drew against Fulham at the weekend. We lost the previous game. All because of Troy Deeney's three broken toes. It is what it is. I'm a tough, ugly boy. His words, not mine. I saw a tweet at the weekend from 50 Cent thanking Manchester for allowing him to perform at their city and then going on to celebrate Manchester United, bigging them up, saying good luck, rah di rah di rah, as 50 Cent not realised that there's actually two teams in Manchester. And if I were you, coming over from the US, wouldn't you support the team that won the Premier League last year? Has anybody ever told 50 Cent that there's also Man City as well as Man U? Now I feel as like this is the perfect time to celebrate the return of Sir Alex Ferguson. Only five weeks ago, he had life-threatening surgery and he was back in that stand. Now a quote from Piers Morgan said, Sir Alex Ferguson has been resurrected. On that note, has anybody even checked that? Sir Alex Ferguson, resurrected. He's probably not even human, you know. Sad news for any Chelsea fans out there. They have broken their winning streak, drawing against West Ham away at the weekend. Now here's some fit stats for you. Chelsea had 72% possession, 17 shots, six shots on target, and they scored no goals. Liverpool now is the only team that has won all of their game. Go on, Klopp. <laughs> <laughs> yes.